Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be installing Zorin OS inside VMware Workstation Pro on a Windows 10 PC. Before we begin, let's take a look at the minimum requirements to get this installed. Your PC is gonna to have to have at least two gigs of RAM, four was better. You're gonna need 20 gigs of hard disk space, at least two CPU cores, and you're also going to need the ISO image file that we'll be downloading directly from the website. You're gonna need VMware Workstation Pro 16, and if you don't have that installed, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps. All the steps and tools used in this video will be linked in the description below. If you find this video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm trying to grow my channel as big as possible to reach as many users as I can. With all that out of the way, let's take a look at getting this installed. To begin, I'm gonna open up my browser and inside Google, I'm just gonna search for Zorin OS. And the official website is zorin.com. So this is the official URL right over here. And we have a link right off the bat to go to the download page. So let's go ahead and click on that. It's gonna bring us over to the download page for Zorin OS. And I'm gonna scroll down a bit here. Okay, and if you scroll down a bit here, you can see that the full pro version for Zorin OS 16 is $39. There's also a free version if you scroll down a bit here, which is the Zorin Core. Uh, I'm gonna be downloading this. This is a basic setup. It doesn't have all the same features as the Pro, uh, but in this example, this is the one that we're gonna install so you can get your feet wet and test it out. So we'll click on download and it's gonna ask for an email address. So you can go ahead and type in your email address here. You can also click on the skip the download option right over here and it'll automatically take you to the download page. The download size is 2.7 gigs. We'll skip over to the end of this download and continue with the installation. So the download is now complete. I'm just gonna minimize my browser over here, go into my downloads folder. We need to refer to this later. So you just need to make sure you know where you've downloaded your ISO image file. So I'm just gonna close out of this and we're at our Windows 10 desktop. I'm just gonna open up my VMware Workstation Pro. We're gonna be creating a new virtual machine and what I'm gonna do is click on the create new button right over here. We're gonna be selecting typical and then clicking on next. And out of the three options over here, we're gonna be selecting, I will install the operating system later, and then click on next. We're gonna make sure that we have Linux selected and in the version, we're gonna be selecting the other Linux uh, version 564 bit. We're gonna have that selected and then we're gonna click on next. And this is where you can type in the name and I'll just type it in right now. For the location, you can change this to any location on your drive. You can also switch drives if you're running into space issues. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be leaving it as default and I'm gonna click on next. The maximum disk size right now is allocated at 10. So you're gonna to wanna to have at least 20 gigs or possibly more depending on what you're gonna be doing. And we're gonna store it as a single file. Click on next. And inside here under customize hardware, we're gonna select this. For RAM, we wanna make sure that we increase this to four gigs if you can do that. Processors is fine if you leave it at two. Under CD, we're gonna be selecting the ISO image file. So click on browse and go to the directory where you downloaded it. Mine's in my downloads folder, so I'll select that and then click on open. And under the network tab, you wanna make sure that you have NAT selected and everything else you can leave as default. So we click on close and then finish. So the virtual machine has just loaded up over here. We can select it on the left and then power it on by clicking on this button right over here. So in this window, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be selecting the first option, which is to try or install Zorin RS. Just hit enter on your keyboard. Okay, so we have the installation wizard now open. Uh, what you can do is select the language that you're comfortable with. I'm gonna be doing everything as default. I'll be leaving everything as English US settings. So I have English select over here. We're gonna be using the install option, not the try option. We're actually gonna be installing it. So click on that. And again, I'm gonna be leaving default settings here. So I'll just click on continue. Okay, so it has the options to download updates and third-party software. If you don't want it to have any of these options selected, you can just uncheck it. I'm fine with that. So I'm just gonna click on continue. All right, you can see that it's been adjusting its screen resolution here. Uh, we're gonna be selecting the first option that says erase disk, which is just the virtual disk. It's not actually erasing your hard drive. So you can leave that selected and then click on install now. So it uh, has the virtual drive selected right now. We can click on continue. So now we're asked for regional information. I'm gonna be leaving mine as default. So New York is fine with me. I'll click on continue and we're gonna give it a name. So I'll just give it a name right now real quickly. And it's automatically filled out a, the computer name and the username. We're just gonna type in a password here and then we can click on continue. And now it's gonna go ahead and copy and install some installation files. What I'll do is I'll skip over to the next step. So the installation is now complete. We can go ahead and click on the restart now option. So the system is now rebooted. We can go ahead and click on our username and type in the password be assigned to it. And it's loading us up right now. We're at the desktop and you have the tour that you can take right now, or you can just say, no, thanks. If you click on the tour, it just basically gives you some of the options and settings that you can customize as you go through the installation like so, and you can install some recommended applications and that's it. 
And here we are at the desktop of Zorin OS inside VMware Workstation Pro. We've installed it on Windows 10, and that's how you do it. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you're looking for other tutorials on virtual machines, you can subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more coming out. Once again, thank you for your support. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.